This is exercise 5b in the Getting to Know ArcGIS uh, for Desktop textbook. We're on page 137. And we're going to look at some of the groups that are out there. Uh, there's a lot of stuff out here already on the website, and we're going to take a look at some of it. Uh, we want to go to ArcGIS.com. Uh, I'm already there. If you're not there, go ahead and uh, enter that web address, uh, www.arcgis.com and you may have to sign in uh, with your username and password. Uh, in the main navigation bar click on groups so that would be right here and uh, so click on that and it says on the right side of the page click the list all public groups hyperlink And at the time the textbook was published, it looked like there were 7,045 groups. Um, now, I'd be surprised if there's exactly 10,000. My guess is that it starts rounding off after a certain point. And um, it says locate the group called SRE Data and Maps and click the hyperlink. Well, um, if we go through here, and there's one called SRE Maps and Data, but it says um, make sure it's the one with the ampersand in the title. So we're looking for SRE Data and Maps. And uh, I've looked through here, um, I've gone and clicked on Next several times. Uh, I don't really want to do that a thousand times. Um, so what we're going to do is um, we are going to go to the top up here and uh, delete what's currently there and we're going to flip over to page 140. It says find and click the map titled USA Topo Maps. So let's type in, let's see if we can find that, USA Topo Maps and hit enter. And we're hoping to find something that looks like what's on the top of page 140 there and I'm not seeing that but uh, let's click on these options over here find items related and if that doesn't work we can go back and, and there was another hyperlink there to click so we'll see what comes up and um, this does look like what they have in the textbook uh, however uh, the dates are different and I'm guessing that the reason for that is just because uh, our book was probably created in 2012 or sometime around then and it is now 2015 and so if we look through here um, let me see I'm looking at the description on page 140. It says, this map service presents detailed USGS topographic maps for the United States at multiple scales. Um, that's what um, I want map service. Uh, let's try this one. Uh, the description is the same. The date is different, so, but we'll see what happens. And we're getting a map of the United States, and it says, um, oh, it says click on open. Uh, we already did that. Uh, I just clicked on the map. Um, if you have an ArcGIS Online map already open, a warning will appear. Yeah, we want to open this. Now we're on page 141. Um, click the add button, and then click, so here's our add button, and then click search for layers and we're going to get a find box here and what we want to look for is um, segmentation and uh, click on go and they get 21 results we get 513 okay now let's go to page 142 uh, in the list locate the US a tapestry segmentation layer and click the title. 
Um, now the only difference here is this one says um, mature support on the end. So uh, U.S. tapestry segmentation. We will try this. I'm going to scroll just a little bit here and see if I can find um, something. I'm not going to scroll all the way through 500 results, but I'm looking for uh, USA tapestry segmentation. And I think that's about the last click I'm going to make here. And um, we will go back up to the top. And we'll pick this one. And we will click on Add. And then we want to click on Done Adding Layers down here on the bottom left. Okay. Now it appears that what uh, is in the book is assigning one color or one category to each state. And what we have here, you know, it looks like, uh, if you look at Iowa here, it looks like we must be doing counties. Those look like Iowa counties. So it has broken the data down uh, further. Um, I'm going to see what happens here if I turn one of these check boxes off. And I don't want that turned off, so I'm going to turn that back on. Uh, let's see what happens if I zoom out a little bit. If it will, you know, if it's one of those things where uh, the colors turn on or off at different zoom levels, and there it is. Okay. Um, compared to what's in the book, my map is much much smaller, and also compared to what's in the book, uh, the colors are not the same. So what apparently happened between 2012 and 2015 is their method of classification must have changed a little bit and not all the states are still uh, the same color. Uh, you know, it looks like Florida is still green, uh, Pennsylvania has changed color. Um, these Midwestern states here, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, uh, Kansas, and Iowa are all still the same. Uh, the purple seems to have uh, disappeared from California and um, Wisconsin and Michigan and uh, Illinois, unless they're using different colors now, that, which is also a possibility, I suppose. Um, but on the other hand, quite a few of these are still the same as they were. So I'm guessing that the demographics have changed rather than that they've changed the coloring system. So. Um, so we want to zoom in on the United States. Um, if we zoom in on the United States, uh, let's shift and drag our mouse around this and it will bring the United States in and it goes a little too far. I'm going to, whoops, back off one, one tick of, or one click of the mouse wheel. And, uh, this is what I get. And now what it looks like it's doing is it is breaking it up into smaller units here, uh, possibly counties. Um, and they tell you to, um, in the find address or place, uh, to type in Washington State. Now, I'm not sure that's going to work. And um, yeah, it does not. It gives us, um, you know, I just want the state. I don't want Washington State as part of something else. And it looks like it's going to take me to all these places in Olympia, Washington, although there's a, it looks like there's a few other things, uh, you know, in Ohio and um, I guess most of them are in uh, Washington State, actually. But um, let's um, pan over here a little bit and let's just kind of zoom in on, i got to hold the shift key down. Uh, and I'm going to hold the shift key down. Let's try it again. Hold the shift key down and click and drag to select that area. And uh, if we pan down now, um, this is still a little smaller than what uh, we're seeing a little more here because it's smaller than what's in the book on page 143. Uh, it says locate the county colored purple and click next to it. Now looks like the white lines are counties and this data appears to have been broken down into smaller regions and counties like maybe census tracts or something like that. 
Um, and so we're looking at purple, which is um, this one right here, but it's no longer purple. Uh, or at least the whole thing is not purple. There are some parts here that are, that are purple. And I'm going to click on one of these. And it's going to give me, um, it says, uh, Sophisticated Squires is what the purple color is here. And um, if I want to see the full description. So they, they divide the country up into, um, it looks like, 65 different categories. And um, it's based on socioeconomic and demographic characteristics to provide an accurate, detailed description of U.S. neighborhoods. And uh, this is a brief description of what the um, sophisticated squires uh, look like. Um, so here's a little demographic, socioeconomic, uh, residential, and, and so on. And so, you know, if you want to, you can take the time and read this and figure out what the sophisticated squires are. Um, so this opened a new window for us. There's no back arrow. So let's just close this and go back and close this. And now I'm on page 144. It says close, uh, click on the X to close the description window. And it says zoom in on this county. This is Nahomish County. And if we zoom in, it says numbers are supposed to appear, but I don't think uh, they're appearing on our version of the map. Uh, now, they just have, it looks like, just counties. We've got the county subdivided. But even if I zoom way in like this, I'm not seeing any numbers appearing on this stuff. So uh, we're going to assume that that's a difference in uh, our map versus the map they're doing in the book. Uh, it says census tracts are visible and they will be labeled with numbers as well. Um, but, like I said, not seeing any numbers here. So, uh, our picture does not match the picture on page 145. Um, in the details panel over here, this is pushed in, so this is my details panel. Click the show map legend button. Um, and it's not labeled show map legend, but just legend. And um, we get something that looks like this. Okay, and so it gives you some of the segments that are there. I don't see the sophisticated squires there anymore, but we must have zoomed out a little too far, or zoomed in too far, rather. And maybe if we get some more colors in here. Um, where were we? I think, was it up here? I think. And. No. Exurbanites. Um, Exurbanites. Uh, okay. That's not showing up. Um, that takes us to page 146 and says uh, zoom in to an even higher level of detail show the census block groups actually what I'm kind of interested in doing here is uh, zooming out a ways and computer's a little slow and then going to uh, let's go to this area right here and see what we find And uh, this line here kind of looks like it might be the Missouri River. And I'm going to shift and click and drag and zoom in one more time. And um, there we go. We're getting, now this would be South Sioux City down here. So let's scroll up a little bit and just zoom in. Whoops, shift and, and click and drag. And try zooming in one more time, and there we go. Um, now I'm trying to find my way around. Let's close this box up here so it's not in the way anymore. And I'm trying to find my way around Sioux City. This looks like Floyd Boulevard here. Um, 
and uh, Hamilton right here maybe and um, not very good without all of the clues here uh, trying to figure out what's what um, this one yeah I think we're getting close to Briar Cliff in here somewhere um, this is retirement communities that's probably not Briar Cliff uh, although the area around it could very well be uh, Rust Belt traditions uh, let's um, zooming in a little more here and see what we find. Oh, there's Briarcliff right there. It's still labeled Briarcliff College. And um, it did say if we zoomed in too far, we might lose that stuff. So I'm going to back out just a little bit here. And uh, how about that? We're in a retirement communities area. Okay, that's enough for this video. We'll stop there and we'll go on to exercise 5C in the next video.